What is up, my Butter Biscuits? Y'all, so I kind of thought recently that I'm going to do a little bit more of my thoughts and opinions on like makeup launches, on like bigger collections, because I feel like I just really haven't been purchasing too much makeup. Y'all know I'm trying to cut back on spending. And like, y'all, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really do miss doing makeup reviews, but I kind of like stopped doing them anyways because nobody really watched them. And then I just would end up losing money because I wouldn't even make back the money of which I like spent on that collection or palette or like product. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like stepped back from that. And then I just realized I only used to do like my thoughts and opinions videos about like Jeffree Star collections or like really big collections or one that like really caught my eye but now I'm like you know what I'm gonna do it about a lot more collections because I feel like I might as well be able to talk about it and give my thoughts and opinions about the collection and we can all talk about it for those of us that are not going to be purchasing it that still have opinions without actually doing a review so every single time just in case you guys didn't know whenever I do a my thoughts and opinions video it is like specifically just about like the price point the aesthetic the collection as a whole the color story we are not talking about formulation obviously Obviously because I can't vouch for the formulation because I'm not buying it to try it. Do you know what I mean? However, I still want to talk about more makeup. So that's why I'm going to be doing uh, more of my thoughts and opinions videos about different collections. And within today's video, we're going to be talking about the uh, Kris Jenner Part 2 collection by Lee what by Lily? By Kylie Cosmetics. Y'all. Before we even get up into this video, I just have to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. I'm not going to be doing a full video about the whole Ray J, Kim Kardashian situation, but I have to know your guys' opinions about it. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, Ray J put it out there that Kris Jenner just pretty much lied about everything, and Kim lied about everything, and he put it on blast. I watched all of his videos, literally all of his videos, about all of those text messages. He put them all up on a projector, and I was like... This is getting messy, but I was just kind of like, oh my gosh, like it really did show that like Kim and Chris orchestrated this whole S tape, you know what tape I'm talking about, and it's just kind of like, whoa, they made Ray J seem like the bad guy as if he was the one putting it out there, but it was all under contract. It was literally all scheduled to be that way. It was all fabricated to be that way by both of them. They both did choose to do it by Ray J and Kim, but then obviously Chris was the business one behind it and kind of like said, no, try doing it this way or try doing it that way. And I'm like, what? Like he was even saying that he, like Chris was telling both of them to like go to Santa Barbara and film a part two and then go over here and film a part three. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. Like I had heard speculation about that before, but then like actually hearing it from Ray J, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I have to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about that. Like, that's a little bit messy, but if I'm being honest, it's a little interesting. So make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys want more of my thoughts and opinions video on makeup, give this a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. So that way I know we all like talking about makeup. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. And once again, oh, I'm so used to saying give it a thumbs up. But let's just go ahead and get into it. One of the big factors whenever I'm doing kind of like a my thoughts and opinions video about makeup collections is the price point. You guys know, obviously, I'm a little bit broke. You know what I mean? I know I'm not the brokest, but I'm a little bit broke. And I feel like price points really do pay such a huge, like, you know, role in if I'm going to buy a product or not. Unfortunately for this collection, because I am filming this the day before it comes out, there is no prices. I looked on KylieCosmetics.com. I looked on Kylie Cosmetics Instagram. I looked on Trend Mood, and there is just no prices. Normally, Trend Mood has the prices and I don't know why for some reason she does not have them actually listed um which is kind of like rare I feel like like it's kind of trippy because every single post that I ever like talk about trend mood or I do an anti-haul I take most of my um, pictures from trend mood or screenshots from trend mood and normally there's always prices but there is no prices about this so I want to go ahead and get into this collection right here I'm going to go ahead and start off by like the littler products I, you know what let's go ahead and start off first with these eye patches right here I actually just saw that Khloe Kardashian was posting about them too I am not going to know how to pronounce this name because y'all know I can barely even speak like English and I don't know this word's probably English and I'm saying that <laughs> uh Quartini Quartini is that like a I don't know Quartini under eye patches um had a long night question mark pop on these cooling patches on those days your under eyes need a little extra love and they just have little olives all over them have you guys ever tried eye patches before? I have bought two different types of eye patches. Um, I cannot remember the brand for the life of me. It probably was about five years ago. And I just did not notice any type of difference, like at all, whatsoever. So I've always felt like they're always kind of like gimmicky. Like I feel like they're cute to take a picture of, like post on a story, you know what I mean? But I look at these and I'm like, yes, I don't know the price point. Because I don't know, for some reason, I feel like they're probably going to be like 20 bucks, maybe like 18 bucks if it's only one set. Oh, yeah, the box does say one pair. I feel like they'll be around that price point, but I feel like that's such a waste of money. I would rather put that $20. I'm just assuming it's around there. I would rather put that into a good eye cream. Do you know what I mean? Like why spend that on just an eye patch that you're just going to throw away? And that's another thing about eye patches that really bother me is that they're like a one-time use. Like, 
you literally put it on your eye and just throw it away. It's like you're literally throwing dollars away rather than if you were to spend like you could get a good eye cream for like 25 bucks, you know, and you could use that for months. So eye patches being that they only last one time, I'm sorry, but I think they're like the biggest ripoff. And I feel like they're for people who just only want to take like a little Instagram story or like an Instagram post, you know what I mean? To look cute with your eye patches, but I don't. I don't know. I'm not for them. I kind of feel like how I feel about lip mask is how I feel about eye mask. Honestly, I just don't feel like they do anything. So that's a pass for me. And then I want to go ahead and talk about these lip crayons right here. So they are coming out with a three lip on cra ugh, lip crayon set um, that has uh, they're all matte, I guess. I want to talk about these because recently she's been pushing these. And if you guys have watched my recent videos about Kylie Cosmetics, I did talk about this set when Bethany Frankel had came out and said Kylie is scamming people. And I was just like, Oh my gosh, all these lip crayons right here. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, she came out with a PR set to which she sold bundled packages of stuff. Like say, for example, it came with like three lip crayons and three of something else. You could get the bundle together for $58 or you can get the PR package for $175. She's literally selling the box for $117. It just blew my mind. And ever since then, I'm like these lip crayons. Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like the colors are actually really pretty, but I have to be honest with you guys. I feel like lip crayons are just... They're not it for me. Like, I, it's not a product that I gravitate to. When I worked at Mac, y'all, we came out with lip crayons. And I remember during this time, oh my gosh, my boss would like hunt me down right now if I was telling you guys this, but whatever. I don't work there no more. I haven't worked there in like four years. Anyways, we came out with these lip crayons and I remember my boss was like having kind of like a, like, oh, win a, like a hundred dollar gift card to somewhere. I forgot where it was even for if you sell the most of them, you know? And I was like, last place. I was literally last place selling them because every customer that came in, I was like, I don't like them. I don't know what it was, y'all. Even me working in sales, I did not get paid commission, but me even working in sales, knowing I had a sales goal and knowing I could get like, oh, a gift card or like extra gratis or something like that. You know what I mean? I never could push a product that I didn't like. You know what I mean? And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who like these style of lip crayons. I just don't. Like, I really don't. I feel like they're hard to use. I feel like you can't get precise lines. Like, I look at the lip models for these and I'm like, you are not getting those precise lines without a lip liner. You just know it. Like these lip crayons are just, I don't know. I don't like use a lipstick or just use like a lip liner. You know what I mean? I will say though, as for lip crayons, ColourPop did come out with some thin ones. They were like thin, but like thicker than a lip pencil. Those ones I actually liked because I feel like you could get precise with those. But when they're chunky like this, like I don't, I don't like it. I really don't like it. But this is a set of three. I don't know how much they're going to be. Oh my God, look at me rhyming. Better watch out, Nicki Minaj. Um, so, oh, Speaking of Nicki Minaj, have you guys seen the drama about her? Oh my gosh, she is like going in on everybody these days. I'm like, what? Anyway, so yeah, these are the three right there. I think the colors are cute. I do like the colors. Uh, Just not a product that I would use, you know? Because I like something that I can get really precise with. And I feel like with this, I just can't. So moving on to the next product right here, we have a powder blush and highlighter cheek duo. Get a soft flush of peachy color and golden glow with this cheek duo inspired by Chris' iconic floral look. This color of blush right here, you guys know I love a corally blush. I think that this blush color is pretty. This is actually a color I would really actually like. I'm going to say it though. This reminds me so much of ColourPop. If you guys do not remember, I'm just way too lazy to walk over to my studio. And on top of that too, it's so hot. I'm literally sweating right now. So I'm not going to walk over there. But I have a bunch of ColourPop ones that have the half highlight and half blush. Do you guys remember what I'm talking about? I want to say they were like $10. Well, last time that I bought one anyways, it was like years ago. They were $10. So I'm really curious to know the price point of these. I will say though that ColourPop's is in like a cardboard container. This does look, look, I can't see in person, obviously. It does look like a hard plastic. So I'm really curious to know about that. But I did see the swatches on trend mood of this and I was like you know what it actually does look cute and it looks like that highlight is really really soft you can tell by like the pigment on her finger is kind of like scraping up a little bit so that means that it's kind of like soft I will be honest that's like a really cute color I just wonder what the price point is being that ColourPop has something so similar and I know that their price point has to probably be like I would say it's like under $14 I know prices probably went up but I'm sure it's under $14, but the color though, it just reminds me exactly of this one from color. You know what? I'm going to walk over to my studio and get this exact one that I'm talking about. Cause I'm so curious to know if that highlight looks exactly like it. Cause now that I'm looking at the highlight, I'm like, wait, the blush color looks the same as the highlight. Hold on. Okay. So I was tripping. I was like, you know what? This looks like exactly the same, but this highlighter right here does seem to be a little bit lighter. And then on top of that too, this peachy blush is a little bit more muted. It's not as bright as that peachy blush, but this is what I was talking about. Like tell me that product doesn't look exactly like this from ColourPop. Yes. I know this packaging is like cheaper because it's like cardboard. There seems to be like a hard plastic, but I'm really curious the price point. This is why I wish they put the prices out there. Like, I feel like even with Jeffree Star's videos, whenever I watch his video when he's doing, like, his, like, launch reveal, he always has the prices listed. Like, 
these companies should do that so that way people can plan on what they're going to be purchasing. Before we get into the last product or our last two products, I want to show you this is what the PR package looks like right here. I want to say, okay, and I was watching Khloe Kardashian's story too. I feel like whoever is doing their PR packages is like so besides that birthday collection with the lip crowns. I'm sorry, but that was like such a ripoff. Whoever does their PR packages is like awesome because I really love this. I feel like this is just so cute. Like even I love the floral print of it. I don't like martinis whatsoever. And I know y'all know I'm a heavy drinker, but I do not like martinis. Um, anyways, I just feel like it's so cute. And then the fact that like Khloe Kardashian's thing had like a whole like martini kit inside of it. I just thought that was like really, really cute. And this is a beautiful PR kit. I don't know what happened with Kylie's PR little like lip crayon set like that with... I don't know, but I'm really curious to know if Kylie is charging $175 for that birthday, her birthday, like, you know, PR kit. I wonder how much this would be if she's going to be selling it. Like, what is this, like $585,000? Because this compared to that birthday set, night and day, honestly, night and day. It's a really cute PR set. I actually really like it. Um, anyways, the second to last product that I want to talk about right here is a lip serum. I want to say the packaging to this. I don't know why for some reason I find it to be like really cute. Like I kind of like it. But y'all know how I feel about like lip serums, lip like lip mask, you know. I was going to say lip oils, but I actually do like lip oils. I'm actually wearing... Oh, you can't tell. It's almost off by now. I'm actually wearing a lip oil right now. This one from City Color absolutely love this one as you guys can see i'm like almost halfway through it well you guys can't tell the top but anyways this one is so bomb i just i hate the packaging i hate the packaging so much it just leaks no matter what i leave it sitting up and it still just leaks lip oils are bomb so i'm really curious to know how this lip serum would be i kind of get the feeling that it's going to be kind of like a lip oil you know what i mean once again can't comment too much on it because there is no pricing and then the final product which i do feel like is the biggest product is this um martini palette right here i want to say i feel like the color story of this palette is actually kind of cute like i actually kind of like it like i feel like with that little pop of neutrals i could make several different looks with this because you got your little olive greens there in the center you got your cranberries over there and then you have your like terracottas and like deep like folly oranges to the left like i feel like this is actually if i'm being honest a really cute palette like i actually really do like it i wonder what the size of the olives are because i first of all i like that shape and i like that it's in the shape of olive i feel like that's just i don't know i feel like it's really cute and i feel like it's really thoughtful and you never really see too many different shapes you guys know it's always like the standard square or just a circle and i like to see a different shape i don't know it kind of like inspires me in a way it makes me want to play with it do you know what i mean like makes me want to get into the makeup so i want to say i actually like this palette and you guys know that's saying a lot coming from me because typically kylie cosmetics the only thing that i have ever raved about about kylie cosmetics is that freddy krueger collection that one just was like in love absolutely loved it like i'm sorry but that collection was probably like if i ever did like the top 10 makeup collections or top 10 to me makeup collections of all time that would be on the list like i just thought that was just i absolutely loved it i loved it so much the color story of this though to me is so beautiful i really do like it i like how you got your cranberries your olives your warms it's just it's really really cute i actually really like it um so overall to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions about this collection if i'm being honest with you guys i actually do like it i would like to know the price point because that obviously would definitely sway my opinion let's keep it real like imagine if the palette is like 118 dollars. her price points ain't that high but i'm just saying imagine if it was then i'd be like hell no like i feel like that mm -mm -mm. it's kind of like one of those things you know you're shopping with a friend you're like oh my god that's so cute and then you look at the price tag and they're like oh it's 300 dollars. you're like oh that's so ugly you know what i mean like <laughs> it's kind of like that anyways overall as a collection i actually do feel like this is really cute i like the blush i like the palette like if i was going to be buying something from this collection um Honestly, I have blushes that are similar to that and I have highlighters similar to that, so I wouldn't buy that. I would buy the palette. I really would. I feel like that palette is a really pretty color story and I actually really do like it. I'm kind of tripped out because I feel like for the most part, I feel like Kylie is just very underwhelming and I'm never, if you guys watch my anti-hauls, you guys know I'm always like, eh, like it's not bad, but it's not good. And this one, I'm like, this is actually really cute. Like I actually really like it. So anyways, that's it for my thoughts and opinions on Kylie's um, and Chris's round two palette. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about the drama. Do you guys feel, oh my God, I should have asked this in the beginning of the video because I know no one stays to the end. But do you guys feel like talking about the drama and everything like with like Ray J and Kim, do you feel like that's going to help sell this collection more or do you think it's going to make it worse? Being that it is Kris Jenner and like right now Ray J is like completely painting Kris Jenner out to be such a villain. If you guys watched this whole story and read all those messages, you guys would know. Do you guys feel like that's going to help this collection or not help this collection? I'm always curious to know. So make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.